What's going on, everybody? My name is Aaron Hemingway, and I am a special education teacher of students that have moderate to severe um, developmental disabilities, such as intellectual disability and autism. I recorded a video about unique learning system a few months back and got a comment on it asking if I could show how to make an interactive worksheet incorporating unique learning system or into Y with the Google product of or the Google family of products as well. So that's what I'm going to be doing in this video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So what I'm going to do is uh, as you see here i've got unique learning system pulled up and coming up into the 2020 2021 school year uh we have got our first unit now i teach junior high so i have a middle school uh grade band unit but this was going to be applicable for whatever grade band you teach if you teach um, unique learning systems. If not, you know, you can use the same exact method to create an interactive worksheet. It doesn't just have to be from unique learning system. So what I'm going to do is I personally like to, when I view these, I like to view them in PDF. And then we're going to be creating a vocabulary interactive worksheet. So I'm going to go ahead and go down and I'm going to go to their interactive worksheet section. I give it a second to pop up here. And I'm going to go down, 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 down. Okay. Um, so right here, if you're not familiar, these are the vocabulary words. But what I want to do is instead of focusing on the vocabulary words, I think I might have, oh, nope, I didn't pass it. I want to focus on the high frequency words that are included in this unit. So I have words like R, B, for, make, she, us, et cetera, et cetera. So awesome. What I'm gonna go ahead and do then is open up a new tab and I'm going to go back to into Y. Let me see if it'll let me close this, perfect. going to sign back in, not 100% sure why it's having me do this. Give it a second for it to load. Sign in, sign in, perfect. Oh, hey, cool, you can sign in with Google now, that's awesome. And now I'm going to go to Symbol Sticks. And I do believe if I go down here, so unique learning system, and it has this set right here. So uh, I don't want preschool. I want middle school. And then I'm going to click create collection so that I have all of these words right here. Now, I don't know if this list is all inclusive or not. That's something that you'll just have to go back and um, go check. But if it is not all inclusive and if there's more icons you would like to add, uh, you know, feel free to do so. I'm just going to go ahead and use this for right now for the sake of time and for the sake of this video not being incredibly long. Of course, it might end up being incredibly long if this page does not load. Okay. Well, while that's doing this thing over here, let's jump over to my Google slide. And okay, perfect. So I have my Google slide right here. If you don't know how to do this, you go to your Google Drive, click new, and then it'll give the option to create a new Google slide. Gosh, my computer is going slow. Google slides right here. But in this case, I already have the one that I want open. So what I'm going to do is go to layout and I just want this slide to be blank. Okay. This thing's still spinning around. So not sure what's happening over there. All right, cool. So now I have my slide that is blank. And what I'm going to do is I am going to go to edit. Hold on. Just kidding. Yeah, where is it? Maybe it's under slide. Oh yeah, okay, I'm sorry. So go to slide and then go to edit master. 
and then it will pull this up right here. And the reason that we want to edit master is what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a worksheet on here and I'm going to save it. So that way when kids go to move and drag things on here, it's not going to move certain icons that I don't want it to move. So let me give you an example here. Apparently this page is still loading. Oh, no. Okay. All right, select all. And then whenever it decides to allow me, I'm going to click download selected. Oh, no more than 25 symbols may be downloaded at once. Okay, so never mind. So let's just do one, two, three. You know what, 53, or I mean 25 aren't even gonna fit on this page. So let's just start with 10. I'll just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So I'm gonna go to download selected. And that is going to download. Perfect. Let's click on that, see where it takes us. because I might have to unzip the folder. Okay. Yeah, so depending on um, what operating system you're using, which in this case I'm using a Chromebook, I'm gonna select them all and then let's see Let's just drag them into Google Drive. And hopefully that will let me select them. Okay, cool. So I have my pictures. I'm not entirely sure what each one is, but for, like I said, for the sake of time, I'm just kind of doing this quick as an example. So I'm gonna go back to my Google slide right here. And I'm actually going to give this a name. So let's call this Oops, vocabulary interactive worksheet nine twenty. Okay. Cool. So now I'm going to go to insert image right here. I always tell my students look for the button that has a mountain on it. Um, and then we are gonna go to drive. And over here on the right, it should pull up my drive. Oh, I like that it has recent on here. Hopefully the icons that I chose are in recent. Oh, I guess it has what they are. Okay, perfect. So um, I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to have room. So let's just go ahead and do five for right now. One, two, three, four. And five. Yeah, there we go, five selected, okay, insert. Okay, yeah, these are all huge. So let's make them much, much, much smaller. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put these guys over here. You know what I could do too, actually? Let's see if I, cause I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna resize the picture. Let's see, let me move me out of the way here. I'm gonna go to file, page setup, custom, and then I just want to make this a regular eight and a half by 11 page. Let's see if that helps. Give me a little bit more room here. Yes, it does. Okay. All right. I'm going back down here in the corner. 
And you know what? If I do control A, select all format options, I'm actually, let's see if I can make them all the same size. So let's go, let's see, a picture frame is what, four by six? Note cards like three and a half. So let's go, I want these to be square. So let's go two inches by two inches. Wow, those are tiny. Okay, that's too small. Uh, three by three, still really small. Man, okay, I apparently had room for more. Let's just jump up to 10, 10 by, oh, not 30. 10 by 10. Okay. Yeah, and some of them I had already resized, so that's probably why it's making them like super tiny. Um, so if you do that from the get go, you can resize all of them to like the exact size that you want. But anyway, so let's go ahead and make this guy here. And again, you can kind of just spread these out how you want. Um, that's going to be, that, that'll just be good for right now. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is over here. And there's so many different ways that you can do this, but um, let's say Okay, so I know that this word right here is help. So help. Come on. I just love technology. Okay. Help. And since that is only a 14 and it is like super small, Let's go side, let's do 24. It might be too big, but I don't know, we'll find out. Okay, I'm good with that. And I'm just gonna make it bold, just to make it a little bit easier to read. You can even change the font if you want to um, into something that's a little bit thicker. But again, I'm just gonna leave it like this for now. And then I'm gonna copy this and paste it four more times. Oh my gosh, my computer is seriously lagging right now. I apologize for this. I'm not sure why they're lining up perfectly in a row, but I am not complaining right now. That's, that's pretty cool. Okay. So if I remember correctly, so this guy is do so let's throw do right here in the middle if it's gonna let me edit it okay do I'm pretty sure this one right here is choose especially since we're talking about voting and picking our leaders and whatnot. Okay, these guys walking are follow. I'm gonna change that to follow. Of course, it would help if I actually spelled follow, right? Okay, follow, help, choose, do, follow, and then help. Okay, so the guy down here, he is breaking something. Break, oh, yeah, break, okay, duh. I don't think it'd be that obvious, but hello. Okay, break. Awesome. Okay, 
So now I'm going to, I'm just going to rename this whole slide as vocab interactive worksheet 920. Awesome. Okay. Let me click OK. Okay. So this is the important part of why I'm doing it in this edit master form. Because if I were to get out of here, okay, watch. If I try to click on him or click on any of these words, it's not going to let me, it's not going to let me move them. So they can't go anywhere. Also, if you go to layout, it has been inserted in here under my layout tab. So not only is it, is it, um, they don't move, it's been indefinitely saved, which is awesome because that means I can reuse it over and over again. So now you can do this multiple ways. What I could have done was I could have just put the words on here and then I could have added the symbols after the fact. So that way all the kids have to do is just go ahead and drag the symbols over to the correct word. Or I could have done it vice versa to where I just put the symbols on here and then I put the words in after the fact so the kids would be able to drag the words over to the picture. But what I am going to do, what I like for my students to do is right here we have, um, if you click this little drop down thingy right here, go all the way down to the scribble tool. Um, and then I think there's a way to change the thickness of the line, but basically what the scribble tool is, is basically like using a pencil except with a mouse. So what they can do is right here, I have the word help. So I would have the kids draw a line from here to the word help. And then from here, oh, I gotta go back and do it again, but yeah, okay, so from here, to the word break. And uh, so this is how I would have wanted, if I wanted to make the line thicker, I could have clicked on scribble. Yeah, clicked on scribble. And then, uh, so this was choose. I just realized that a lot of these are next to each other, whoops. And then I could have gone right here and I could have made the line thicker that way. But I mean, this, uh, in the, in terms of simplicity, I think this is easy enough for students to do just kind of like a quick little informal assessment. Like I said, you can make it more interactive by, uh, not including both columns here and adding one in after you create your master slide so that way you can drag it from one to the other. And then this way you can assign this into Google Classroom. So yeah, I hope that this was helpful guys. If it was, please leave a comment below letting me know how you're going to do this and how you're gonna design your interactive worksheet. If you have any questions at all, because I know that I went pretty fast, obviously you can pause the video um, during certain parts, but if there's something you didn't understand, leave a comment down below and I'm more than happy to help with that. Also, if you found this helpful, please click um, subscribe. It, I really, really appreciate it um, and it, it just means that people are actually watching these and enjoying this, the tutorials and stuff that I'm putting out. So um, until next time, I hope you guys have a great beginning to your school year. And if there's any way that I can help, let me know. All right, take care guys.